Hi everyone, it's Emily from Scatter Sunshine Books, and today I wanted to do a quick flip through of a junk journal that I just finished and I'm getting ready to put into my Etsy shop. So, this journal is a garden bird theme. <laughs> so, it's got a lot of flowers throughout, it's got a lot of blues and pinks, and it's kind of got a Victorian era um, feel to it. So, you can see I've got four sewn in signatures, and then I put the, the fabric and lace on the spine, and there's a tassel with lots of ribbons and lace, and then some charms and beads. And I've got some birds on the front. And then it's closed with seam binding that's tied into these little eyelets. So I'm just gonna do a real fast thrip, flip through. My kids are on a bike ride, so <laughs> we'll see how quick we can get through it, see if we can beat them home. <laughs> Um, so this is the inside cover. Here we've got a cute little girl with her bird, a tag and a vellum envelope, and the envelope has some goodies in it. And then this is a tack spot, so if you have some things you want to stick in your journal but can't paste in yet, you can put them there until you're ready. Um, we've got lots of journaling space in this journal. I tried to limit myself <laughs> so people actually have room to write. Um, so just a little tuck spot. Everything in the journal is coffee dyed except for the backs of a few of the, like the Tim Holtz, um, ephemera pieces. Those ones I didn't always coffee dye, but everything else in the journal is coffee dyed. So there's a tuck spot there. This is some vintage trim that I found at a thrift store, um, in a little rural town and I love it. It's, let me pull it close. It's got some like embroidery on it. It's not pretty. Never seen anything like it before. So I stitched several pieces of that in throughout the book. There's some memo paper. That one is a printable from the Bio Biodiversity Heritage Library, I think is what it's called. They've got such great images on there. Here we've got a book page pocket with some ephemera bits in it to journal on. And then this is a three pocket page. So there's some goodies there, collage tag here, and then another tag at the top that's on a flashcard. So there's those. This is the altered paper clip. And then this is one of the folded envelope style coffee tied paper. So you can journal all through that. Here we've got a tuck spot, just a little ephemera bit. Another one of the printables that's so pretty. This is actually um, some handmade paper that I coffee dyed. So it's got a really porous feel to it. So if you're gonna do watercoloring, that would be really fun to do on there or just, or just journal. <laughs> but it's got a nice texture to it. This is a, um, what do they call it, like a botanical book that I found. So there's a couple pages from that throughout the book. Some more journaling space. That's a tech spot with collaging and then a large collage tag, it's coffee dyed. More journal space, some little beads here. On this one, we've got a tag that pulls out the top and then a journal card that pops out the side there. I love these little images of these girls with the birds. I think they're so cute. Okay, on this one, the page flips out. And then we've also got a large tag here for journaling in a pocket. We've got a tag here. A bookmark here. And then this is a poetry book that I put in. Um, I love William Blake in particular, so I like that he's in here. <laughs> I did some collaging on this side, and this is tissue paper I put on there. This is an old gardening book, book page. And then here's 
a collage and a pocket with just a big ephemera piece to journal on. Here's a, another one of those cute little girls with the birds. And this is a tech spot, so there's a little ticket in there. Here's another page from that book. I love that you could journal in between the flowers. I think that would be so pretty. And this one too, it's got a lot of space for journaling. Okay, so there's an altered paper clip. And you can fold out this paper for extra journaling room. So there's lots of room there to write. If you have a, a big thing to say. <laughs> and then there's a postcard that I collaged on that you could write on that goes up there. Okay. All right, there's another pocket with another collage tag. And in the background, that's an ad from the, the Sears Robot catalog. There we go. Here's another altered paper clip. And this flips up and pulls out. So there's more journaling space there as well. And then you can also journal all on that, that flap, which is kind of fun. There we go. So this is the center of the book. This is the end of the second signature. And here I've done some stenciling on the, this is some really old uh, music paper. You just got some journaling spots here. Some of them are on really thin paper and some are on thicker. I just like different textures and weights. That's just something I, I enjoy. <laughs> this is some really pretty paper. I just couldn't cover it up because it was too pretty to do anything on. This is from an old like memo date book type thing. And an old book page. Here we've got a tag that has a pocket on it with other things tucked inside and a receipt, um, an actual vintage receipt. And then just a little bit of ephemera. And then this pocket flips up so you can journal there. So lots of space there. Here, this flips out. And then I loved this page. I thought it was just really pretty, so I put it in the middle. And here we've got another um, safety pin with some little charms. I don't know if you can see the little heart, heart charm. And then here's one of the, the three pocket things with a tag, a little journal card that's note to self and a little seed packet journal card. And then here I just put some plainish paper so you can journal on that book page. More of the old memo book or diary or whatever, it, whatever you call that. <laughs> Here's some more of that vintage trim. This one flips out so you can journal there. And that's some stenciled. And then in this signature, we've got a tag. And this is a belly band as well. It's not glued down. So if you have something you want to stick there, you can. Stick that in. And then this is one of my favorite pages. So here we've got a pocket. And this is tracing paper. So it kind of looks muted in there. And there's a tag that you can write on the back of. And that slides back in. And then here there's a journal card that pops out. And then this whole thing lifts up. So there's more journal space here and here. So I think that's a really fun page. Um, here we've got a book page pocket with a envelope journal card. And this is a little tuck spot. So you can turn on that. More of the coffee dyed handmade paper. Cute little printable. This is a belly band here. And then on this one, there's also a little tuck spot. And this was a printable I found that I thought was super fun. So I just stuck it in there. It's a little, um, it was a music book page. I just thought it fit perfect with the bird theme. And you could journal and fold it the other way if you wanted your writing hidden or however you want to do it. Just tucked in there. 
And then here's a large journal card and it's collaged both sides. There's that one. And then this one flips down so you can journal there. And if you needed more pocket space, you could put a paper clip here and use that to tuck things in. But there's quite a few pockets as it is. <laughs> so I left the paper clip off. But you could always move one. There's some more journaling space. Another printable. There's a little safety pin with some beads. Um, a journal card with a little girl. I just thought it was a very pretty image. And that's another altered paper clip there. And journaling space. And this page actually flips out in all four directions. So this one flips that way. This one flips that way. This one goes down and that one goes out. So you can journal or write or paste things on all five surfaces, which is kind of fun. And it's like secret. <laughs> I like that it feels kind of hidden. And then at the last page, you've just got a pocket with an acetate um, embellishment over the bird and a pocket with a couple pieces of ephemera. So I hope you enjoyed looking at my journal. We beat my kids <laughs> getting back from their bike ride. So that's good. <laughs> but if you're interested in this journal or any of my other journals, you can find them on my Etsy shop, which is Scatter Sunshine Books. Thank you so much for watching and have a sunshiny day.